This class is going to help me with biochemistry. There's no writing in engineering. That's why I'm an engineer. Now, I don't really understand how this writing class is going to help me with biomedical laboratory science. I don't, I don't know, bro. Biochemistry today, we have to write our huge reports. Yeah, I need to write so many papers today and read so much. I cannot do it. Kevin, I had to record so much in engineering today that my hand hurts really, really, really bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Am I sending emojis professionally? Hey Bob, um, how, how long does this paper sound to be? Four to six pages? What do you mean? Well, it looks like I'm gonna do the four, four pages, huh? The bare minimum, you know what I mean? Alright, well, well, I'll be back with you when I'm done. Alright, I'm all done now. All I need to do is some more count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, one, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, one hundred one, one hundred two, one hundred three, one hundred four, one hundred five, one hundred six, one hundred seven, one hundred eight, one hundred nine, one hundred ten, one hundred eleven. 13. Hey Max, you wanna go out for lunch? Sure, I'll go out for lunch. Just let me finish my work now. Right. Um, I was wondering if I could uh, get an interview today. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Kevin. So I'm in the writing class now and I need an interview with you. Just get lost. Hello, uh, I'm in a WRA class and I was wondering if I could get an interview with you for one of my projects. Ne never. Never, never in a million years? Oh. Hey Bob, I just got an email from uh, Ms. Shawanda Lager, and um, she said that it's one of 10 pages now. <laughs> hey buddy, hey, I, I feel like we both should do one, you know what I mean? Yeah, alright. See you. This paper has nothing to do with me now. What, what's it about? It's all about my future and my professional, that's all. Howie! Uh, oh, that's not it. Um, Shalom! Oh, no, 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 no. I oh, was born in the darkness. Oh, that's, that's not it either. Howdy diddly doodly! Yeah, that's it. I got it. MLA? Hmm. MLA. MLA. I MBA. MBA? Ah, uh, MLA. Hey, Danny. Yeah. yeah. Is it alright to send a picture of my cat to the to my interview? Yeah! Totally! Right. Yeah! Ah, oh, I'm so hungry. Is it time for lunch in class yet? No, one hour down, one hour to go. Uh, needs every everybody and if like it, you it may seem that one person is not important but in every like for everybody everybody is important and that you can't just look at someone and think it's just another person it's someone that has gone through 
their own struggles and their own like troubles and uh, struggles and trouble I don't know but <laughs> it's everybody has gone through their own uh, life and everybody has an own their own complex life um, and it's kind of that feeling of Alexander I put that I like to talk about from my article uh, culture artifact is first of all my culture artifact is football um, football to me I just I love football um, since I was a little kid like nine years old um, I love football. I grew up I grew up playing football my dad kind of got me into it um, my dad played football I love watching videos of him and I just, he just inspired me to play football um, so using football to me was kind of something that I really liked Dude, this, this project was pretty interesting because it's something I liked um, and um, to see my perspective on this I explained in my paper that um, what it means to me and how they even play the football game in um, America and uh, grammar certain areas that I needed to improve on but overall um, she gave me some really good feedback um, and it basically did help me work like the, the Donato system of the writing center so this, this helped me um, get more involved with knowing how the writing center would be like if I did have struggles with certain papers and, um, this semester uh, I started to participate in the research program it's actually a lab position uh, under the major of bell chemistry so at the beginning of the semester I asked my professor uh, John Kukumi and he gave me a lab position. He's actually a research assistant. So now each Wednesday and Thursday, I go to the lab after school for two to three hours and help him to do the all kinds of the experiments. Uh, I'm gonna talk about just the interviewing. That sucked, to be honest. Finding people to interview was awful. I'm kind of I interviewed uh, last month with my professor John Kakumi and I asked um, a bunch of questions that relate to my major and my future fields. Like, there's a one question I asked about like, how do you want to be a to be a doctor? So he's uh, he's actually graduated from the medical school of Stanford University, and he told me like, okay, so. At least you have to get A for each class in uh, your college, and then you have to study hard, work hard. My hashtag is family first. Family first all day. Um, the reason why I chose family first was because I don't know. Um, my family is the one who stuck through it, through it all, helped me go to school. I mean, make it through, make it to college. You know, my family was the ones that actually helped me, stayed with me every night when I needed help with my homework, the support, the background, you know, the stronghold that kind of helped me make it to college. So. Well, it's still part of my life, and I've learned a lot from learning violin. So I know more cultures from the Western uh, cultures, such as like the medieval Europe, uh, the Baroque, period, like the romantic period, and the modern music, and I like uh, listening to more classical music now, so while well, it's like a special skill for me. The literacy practices that were involved in my profession were uh, note taking is one, because you have to constantly write down and be very persistent and precise and you have to be exact with what you write and you have to write down everything and another one would be uh, reports that you would have to do when you're done so you could have a discussion and you could get what your uh, answers were from your data and everything and you can bring it to the people so they can use it obviously so there's like journalism there's journals not journalism um there's journals that do that uh there is uh websites that you can go to and obviously um this 
is taught to people like doctors so they can learn and use your tactics or instruments or whatever you were researching uh, for uh, public health, which is very freaking awesome. And, uh...